Hello there my music lovers, I'm Joshua the File Heaven and today we are having a look at two EMs actually. Those are the Campfire Holocene and the Campfire Mammoth. They are both priced at 650 US dollars and the main reason I'm doing a two-way review about them is because a lot of people have been asking me to compare the two. So those are the two mid-range offerings from Campfire and Campfire is based in USA and those EMs are also made in USA. So let's get down with the unboxing. I'm willing to say that the package that that campfire offers is quite nice. They have those origami like packages that you open with the rems and they have a ton of printing done on the inside. I'm going to unbox just one of them because the unboxing is exactly the same. They come with exactly the same accessories but they are interesting to unbox. They have this carrying case. It is different in pattern and both carrying cases are made in Portugal. They are actually not made in China. They are not made in USA either. They are made in Europe and they have the zipper, also the logo that glows in the dark, which is a pretty nifty feature actually. It feels a bit like something that you would offer on a toy, but at the same time, it's quite cute to see it on a high-end product like the Campfire Holocene. The EMs come packaged quite nicely. They actually come packaged inside a case that protects them from scratches against each other but as I've seen over the past few months as I've been using them they are pretty scratch resistant actually they have not a single trace of me using them on them so that is pretty cool. The EMs do have some corners so they are one of those more cornery designs like uh, campfire older versions used to be like and uh, actually at first I was a bit concerned about the corners but if you watch my video on campfire ARA those corners are no issue because on the inside the EM is quite smooth and it is made to be very comfortable so the inner part the parts that which do matter are actually very smooth and rounded while the face plates are quite edgy and look pretty industrial. I'm using final tips and they are among the tips that the EMs come with originally. They are good tips. Actually the quality difference between spin fit and the final tips is negligible. It is a matter of taste. I do prefer spin fit a bit because the silicone tends to irritate my ears a bit less. And after testing so many EMs, I tend to get sensitive. So I have periods of time where I test only headphones because I cannot test so many EMs at once. You know, always putting in and taking out EMs tends to wear one out. Now, the EMs are quite comfortable, as I've been saying. They also offer a good amount of passive noise isolation. Camp both Campfire Holocene and Campfire Mammoth have the same overall passive noise isolation. They are both based on a triple driver design. So they each have three drivers in each year. They also have those designed customly. They are not your run of the mill, uh, no less drivers or belting. They are new drivers and they have the audio chamber printed in 3D. So they actually create an interesting chamber rather than relying on very complicated crossovers. Basically, they manage to avoid every single issue that you typically see with EMs and they actually manage to take advantage of all the tech that is at the hands of Campfire. And after reviewing Campfire Ara, you know that they have a ton of tech at their disposal. The cable of both the Holocene and the Mammoth is detachable. It is easily detachable and has one of the higher quality of the MMCX connector. The MMCX connectors are gold plated. The same can be said about the cable, which is gold plated. And the cable has the connectors that do glow in dark, the same as the zipper of the carrying case. So if you create shadow and put it against your eye, you can see it glowing in the dark, which is a pretty nifty effect, if a bit redundant actually, but the logos on the EM do glow in the dark and that is quite useful because a lot of music lovers tend to listen to music before going to sleep or as soon as they wake up and it's still dark outside and they don't want to wake up their loved one. So yeah, searching for the EMs is much easier if they glow in the dark light. That can be useful, that has useful applications. It, it is not something I see myself using, like I, I don't really need it, but that is because I do videos, like I have a ton of lights and to those that live more normal lives, they are quite useful as a future. Now about driving both Campfire Holocene and Campfire Mammoth, both are somewhat hard to drive. Neither is very easy to drive. I would say that they are pretty much the same in general. I have been using either Astel and Kern CP2000T or Astel and Kern SA180. I base a DX300 or Lotopo 6000. You can actually see a ton of dubs in the back. I don't know if I'm just standing right in front of them, but I do have them. At the end of the day, I do use high-end dubs to 
drive the campfire Holocene and the campfire mammut because I want to get the best quality out of them but they are drivable out of something like Fio BTR5 MK2 they are drivable out of something like Fio M11 Pro and even portable that comes like I base or this DC05 so you don't need to worry too much about the power but they do scale a bit with the source so using a higher quality source is going to provide you a much better sound speaking of the sound of the campfire Holocene I would say that the Holocene is the more revealing more detailed more analytical brother of the two. The Mammoth is dark, it is strong, it has a ton of bass and they are quite polar opposites exactly as the creator of the company has told me. They are made to be opposites, they are not made to be the same, they are complementary, they feel each other. For example, Campfire Holocene is light, it is snappy, it is detailed, it has a good amount of bass but it is mostly neutral. You can hear the bass in bass heavy songs but most music isn't presented with a lot of substance while the Campfire Mammoth has a very thick, very blowy low end that carries a lot of weight and a lot of power, it carries a lot of impact. Campfire Mammoth is great for dubstep, for hip hop, for rap and for aggressive music in general. If, if you like a tone of sub bass, of weight in your music, a ton of substance, Campfire Mammoth is perfect. On the other hand, if you are a detail addict, if you like a wide soundstage, if you like a more detailed sound, if you have a kick for hearing every single texture in your music, Campfire Holocene is going to be perfect. Both are rather musical, both have a good amount of musicality in their sound, both are very smooth in terms of textures, neither isn't harsh or too aggressive, and they both provide a fairly natural soundstage. I would say that the soundstage of the Holocene is wider, also deeper, but this is because you can hear more detail in that soundstage and that helps a lot. The treble is much much brighter in Holocene and it is quite smooth and slightly rolled off in the Mammoth which tends to create a more darkish presentation. Mammoth is very darkish in its presentation while the Holocene is very clean in its presentation. I personally would say that if you are the kind of guy that listens to a lot of orchestral music or of wide soundstage music of something that is atmospheric, I would recommend the Campfire Holocene more. Campfire Holocene tends to have more detail as well, which can be interpreted by your brain as them being higher resolution. The Campfire Mammoth, on the other hand, has a much thicker, much more delightful bass presentation. They are smoother, they are easier to listen to for long periods of time. But at the same time, Campfire Mammoth has very little treble, which tends to give the sensation that they don't have quite as much detail. So out of the two brothers, the Holocene is clearly more detailed detailed and you can hear a ton of more detail but this is because it also brings it closer to your face. If the drivers are similar between the two then you know that they both present the same details but they present them in such a different manner and in such a different fashion that you end up preferring Holocene if you are a detail addict or preferring the Mammoth if you are a strong and powerful music addict. Out of the two, Campfire Holocene has a more competitive pricing and this is because it is like a mini Campfire Ara which has a ton of detail and they pretty much follow the same overall signature. Campfire Mammoth doesn't really follow any of the Campfire signatures so far like Campfire Mammoth has a unique new signature. It doesn't really follow the signature of either Campfire Vega 2020 or Dorado 2020. It is a whole new signature and this is the reason I'm saying that if you want to get the Mammoth you should probably Probably test and you should not judge one if you heard the other for example if you heard the Mammoth you shouldn't think that the Holocene is any similar they're very very different in the presentation if you heard the Holocene you shouldn't think that the Mammoth is the same the Mammoth is not a light EM it is not a bright EM and the same can be said about the Holocene it is not a dark EM it is not a heavy EM and it doesn't really have the same way of presenting details very smoothly like the Mammoth the Mammoth is very good if you are easily annoyed by minor details or if you are easily distracted or for example if you are easily fatigued by sound for example if you suffer from listener fatigue when hearing a brighter sound then the Mammoth should be better for you I just realized that I've been talking about both but I've only been holding the Holocene in my hand so I should take the Mammoth out of their box as you can see they have different carrying cases the mammoth has a more orange like carrying case while the holocene has a greener carrying case i don't think that either carrying case represents anything but they are a style of modern art i do like the campfire carrying cases i do think they're pretty cool although some people do not follow my taste so you should judge for yourself do you like those carrying cases i'm actually curious please leave a comment on the video and tell me if you like the the campfire carrying cases i am quite curious about that so here is the mammoth the mammoth is blue in color while the holocene is a brown color they have the 
same cable, they have pretty much the same overall feeling and they feel the same when you touch them, when you hold them in your hand, they pretty much look and feel the same. They feel like they're the same EM, just a different color. But man, is the sound different between those two. Now, at the end of the day, you may be wondering if you should purchase either. At 650 US dollars, both are pretty pricey and neither isn't very affordable. Like you could get EMs for 300 dollars. There is also the Campfire Honeydew, which has a good price. And there are options from other companies, many other options that are cheaper and I will honestly say this I do personally like the Holocene a lot and I haven't really used the Mammoth as much and this is because for a really smooth and darker is sounding EM I do have the Metal Wave and the Campfire Mammoth is more comfortable than the Wave but after reviewing the Wave I really needed something brighter I really needed something more wide and this is why I actually published already the written review of the Campfire Holocene but the written review of the Mammoth is still in the works so with that being out of the way I would say that if you are a base head the Mammoth should be perfect for you on the other hand if you are someone who appreciates detail the Kenfire Holocene should be the one for you. At 650 US dollars, I would actually pay this amount for the Campfire Holocene, like easily. This sounds like a mini Campfire Ara. They are so close in quality. They are so, so close to each other. This video is being filmed right after I published my full video review of the Hyphiman Araya stead. And this is why the word Hyphiman Araya comes to my mind a lot because I've been answering your comments and I hope I've been doing a good job at interacting with you. Also, don't forget, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to Audiophile Heaven. Also, please leave a like on this video if it has been enjoyable. I really hope that you'll come back. I hope that if you have a dime to spare, you'll donate something. I do have a PayPal link in the video description. It helped me. It helped me a lot. Every single bit of help helps me. For example, commenting, liking this video, sharing the video, anything you do really helps me out. So please lend a hand if you find my work enjoyable. I hope you have a lovely week in there and I hope to see each other really soon. Bye bye.